Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf, and we have another episode of the Swing Report today covering new golf balls from Titleist. That's right, the Pro V1 and Pro V1X. And we have a special guest. It is Jeremy Stone from Titleist, the vice president of golf ball marketing. Jeremy, first of all, thank you for taking the time. Uh, it's new Pro V1 and Pro V1X, always a big deal for Titleist, the most popular ball out there in golf. So we gotta, we gotta dive in, the nitty gritty, all of it. Yeah, happy to, thanks for having me. It's great to talk with all of you. So new Pro V1 and Pro V1X, yeah. this is a huge deal for mm -hmm. us. And it's a huge deal out on the PGA Tour and every other global tour. So we'll jump right in. Mm -hmm. When we talk about Pro V1, it's the greatest combination of speed, spin, and feel. This golf ball, it has to do everything you want it to do. And so what's new about this golf ball is the core. The Pro V1 is a three-piece golf ball. It has a solid core, a casing layer, and a soft cast urethane cover. The core has a new high gradient process. It makes the inner part of the core softer, and the outer part of the core firmer. What does that mean for you? It means you're gonna get lower long game spin, but because we haven't had to change the cover, you still get the amazing green side spin and performance you're looking for. Lower long game spin translates into more distance and more consistency, particularly on a windy day like this yes, one. Yes, exactly, and that's something that I need in my game, right? Uh, as someone who generates a lot of spin, keeping that spin low uh, is very beneficial for me. And the Pro V1X then probably a little bit different in that aspect, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. So the technology story is the same. It's got a high gradient now dual core. The dual core of Pro V1X gets larger in this new golf ball about one-tenth of an inch, 0.13 to be exact, as our R&D folks like to be, but that actually translates to a 44% increase in total volume. That makes this golf ball have that same benefit of high gradient, lower long game spin, but you keep the amazing spin green side. This golf ball compared to Pro V1 is going to fly higher with more spin into and around the greens. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for less spin, the Pro V1X might not be for you, but right. that's why we have other options. Right, exactly. And I think there is that that confusion sometimes that we get a lot is is between the Pro V1 and Pro V1X, which is launching higher, which is launching lower. So that's kind of the answer. The Pro V1X will be a little bit of a higher ball flight, right? That's exactly right. I always tell folks, look, number one, if you're looking to find out what ball is right for you, find an expert. Go find your friends at Second Swing and make sure they can help you figure out which ball is right for you. But if you're going to do it on your own, we've got some great tools on Titleist.com, mm -hmm. but you can always start with the Pro V1. Yep. Go play Pro V1 and see what it does for you. Mid-flight, mid-spin mm -hmm. type characteristics with great feel. And let's say, oh gosh, you know, I'm just not holding the greens I want right. to, or I'd like to see a little more carry. Pro V1X flies higher with more spin, and then the AVX is on the other side, lower flight, lower spin. Right, so now let's talk about ball selection in general, because uh, at the end of every one of our fittings, we of course go through a ball fitting, make sure golfers are playing the right golf ball. Um, but when, let's say the, the customer does not have time for a complete fitting, they, they're going to the store, they're going on their golf trip, and they need the golf ball right away. Um, Pro V1 and Pro V1X, maybe not for every single player, but that's why there's more options than just those two. That's exactly right. So the vast majority of players are gonna benefit from Pro V1 or Pro V1X. Mm -hmm. We know that we can dial in most golfers with these two golf balls. However, you're right. Mm -hmm. Some folks prefer a really soft feel and a little bit less spin, and that's where AVX fits in. AVX is our softest premium golf ball, mm -hmm. and it also has the lowest spin of any of these golf balls. It will fly lower, spin less with the softest feel. Now, there are some golfers who prefer that high flight of Pro V1X, but like you said, you know, gosh, I'd love the high flight, but do you have something that spins right. less? And that's where Pro V1X Left Dash comes in. That same high flight window, but low spin. And so when you think about choosing the right golf ball, think about three things, the flight, the spin, and the feel. And if you look at those three things and you think through some of the materials we have, you'll be able to choose the right golf ball for your game. Awesome, and there's no better brand in golf or golf balls than Titleist. All four options for those better golfers out there. Um, really great options here. And Jeremy, thank you so much for joining. Uh, we're very excited about fitting customers into these golf balls this year. So Happy to really do good it. stuff. Thank you. All right, Michael, we're back on the golf course now. This is actually our first filming of the spring in Minnesota. So that's always uh, an exciting time. So it's a little chilly today. It looks like spring in Minnesota. It does, it does. Uh, but we're actually outside on a golf course here and we've got the Pro V1 and Pro V1X now. So Jeremy talked about all the tech and kind of the new things that Tyler's brought to it this year, but today we get to actually hit some shots with it. Um, and so we don't have the simulator because, um, well, all the track pins are being used at Minnetonka currently for fittings and we haven't really gotten the chance there's no break because of the demand for those fittings. But right. we're out here with the golf balls. We're going to hit some shots in the Les Bolstead short game area here. Uh, we're going to go back as far as 80 yards, hit some kind of 
fuller swings, and then we'll do some short game stuff and talk about the feel. But um, Michael, do you play one of these golf balls? And I guess, I mean, how do you think Telus has sort of built this reputation as such a, a behemoth in the golf balls? Well, that's what I always, I'm a Pro V1 man myself, yeah. and I'm always fascinated by how brands like Titleist improve on a model like the Pro V1 and Pro V1X that are so ubiquitously played, so so widespread in their popularity. Mm -hmm. I'm always curious where they can find those those little yeah. those little gains, and they always seem to. So, yeah. um, you know, obviously the Pro V1 is sort of the softer, the Pro V1X, mm -hmm. kind of the lower spinning, higher launching. We kind of know the the basic characteristics. I'm really curious to see the actual performance though yeah. in action with the different variety of shots. Right. I'm especially curious on the feel around the greens. If there, a lot of times they've said there there's not a ton of difference, but I guess the highly um, you know the highly curious player might actually sense some of those things. So, uh, but I think it's time. We'll start with the the kind of the fuller 80 yards swing with the wedge, and then we'll kind of get closer to the green and see how they perform. Let's do it. All right, well, Pro V1 to start, Michael. Yep. Uh, so now we got three flags up there. We've got yep. 82, 87, and 80 yards. Yep. So uh, I know that's, I don't know what kind of type of shot you usually hit for those kind of yardages. But yeah. Well, I've got um, a 60 like degree a wedge. Yeah, I've got a 60 degree wedge. I'll probably be aiming at that right flag. Okay, it should be a pretty good fullish swing. Nice. Pro V1 to start here. Pro V1. That fresh out of the box feel of a golf ball. All right, trickle back over to the green. Solid first shot, actually, considering that we're kind of we didn't really warm up and we're outside here in the in the cold. Also so. considering I got way ahead of it. <laughs> Ooh, that could be good. Oh, just a little deep. Ooh. Be good. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> That's a... I don't know, from here it looks like it's pretty close. I guess we'll see what the guess, other angle says. I but guess. so, Pro V1, uh, does it kind of feel soft? I mean, I know you play it Pro does. V1, so it's kind of... It's got to feel. It, it feels like just, the ball you play. It feels like home. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I feel like on these fuller shots, what I really like with a wedge is I hate that feeling of the ball just sort of falling out of the air. Yeah. So even as a high spin player, I like the Pro V1 because I feel like it, it's going to hold its line. I'm not yeah. going to. I can really trust that flight. Yeah. And so I'm and curious if, with this Pro V1X how it's going to be different. It's actually interesting because you said you hit that first shot a little low on the face. Yep. Um, and or I guess you were kind of ahead of it, ahead of it, which maybe was a low on the face strike. But then a lot of times that ball will maybe sail or kind yeah. of spin weird. But it didn't seem like that one was any different than the one you hit really well there. So. Yeah. Um, all right, Pro one X here. Right out of the box. Yeah, you can clean the club. That's probably a good call. So now here, I'm curious. Again, we we're only hitting a, a small sample of shots, but mostly curious on your feedback on the feel. Yeah. It feels a little firmer, and we'll maybe see if that ball takes off a little bit higher as well. Thoughts? A little bit. Again, we're, we're kind of picking nits here, but you can see with the with the window, it does just kind of, yeah. it gets up just a bit quicker. Yeah. Um, it's not as much that kind of low riser. It, it jumps a little mm -hmm. bit more. Sure. Yeah. And I think there's something to note too with these shots is just the, like it's, it's that launch is really important for some players, that window that they're looking for, like you mentioned. Yeah. For one X, it seems like it's just taking off like a little more vertically yes right? it just gets up a touch quicker oh there we go i love that this is a pretty good display here actually michael i gotta say you got a couple of good birdie looks when i'm not there. flying the green got a little ahead of that one that might sail a bit that looks pretty good to pretty me good you're still putting pretty good so yeah, I think probably just a little firmer feel there as well, probably. A little firmer. It just jumps a bit quicker. So again, it's it's all player dependent. And that's yeah. why, you know, we always push fittings when it comes to wedge and ball is because you really need to marry your personal kind of biases and characteristics with kind of what you want to see out of that kind of window. All right, so now we got the, I'm going to hit the like 25 yard, 30 yard chip shot here. This is more of a feel thing, right? I think a lot of players, you get around the green, and Titleist has said around the greens, they, the performance isn't that different. It's right. more about the, the feel that yeah. someone prefers or doesn't prefer, right? Right. So now on these shots, I usually try to keep it low, especially since I, I keep my 58 degree as my like all-encompassing 100-yard and in-club, which yeah. 
this may or may, or may not be the right thing to do, but I've kind of learned to keep it low one on these shots here. Okay, there you go. Oh, perfect. Look at that. I think I can make that putt, but I like it closer. It's one of those. Ooh, that one felt a lot softer than the first one. I yeah, think I maybe that got a nice check. Hit that one a little bit better. Okay, that one bit up a little bit. Really got that one too. to stop. Now we got the X. Now the X. So I'm curious now because that those last two I actually hit more in the center. Yeah. So they felt very soft, and you probably I barely even heard anything when I hit them. So. Yeah. Just a tad more feedback, kind of I just, think. Yep. Just a tad more. Tad more. Yeah, that one for sure. I don't know if you caught that, but it seemed like it just sounded a little louder. A little louder. It feels like you got one more hop out of it. Yeah. Kind of like a little more drivey. Okay. Yeah, I think there's definitely uh, an element of firmer feel slightly. Again, yeah. this is as, as nitpicky as I can be as a golfer, but um, the Pro V1X just a little firmer, I think. Yeah. All right, so now a little tougher shot, Michael. Um, now, there is a green to work with here, but you kind of, it's a down slope, probably what, 25 yard shot here. Um, it's no surprise I missed the green. Wow. So. Wow. If anybody watched you hit the, the shots from 80 yards just a few minutes ago, I mean, I don't think only one missed the green because you swung a little too hard, but. <laughs> So we'll start with, we'll do three Pro V1s and then three Pro V1Xs here. We'll see what Let's you do it. See what you say. Ooh, the, okay. uh, the dew on the greens here in the morning. Hold, held soft. that one up a little bit. Okay. You're still kind of getting that slightly softer feel, you think? A with little this? bit, yep. yeah. Ooh, that one could be really good. Oh, yeah. You got to tap in. Third team All-American. <laughs> so, Pro V1 X now? All right. Yeah, I think the word for the, the Pro V1 is it's just it feels just like quieter. Yeah. It's just that little off the hands. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bit quieter. That one, I don't, maybe, again, maybe these are just one-off shots. Sure. That one seemed a little more, like I could hear the thud on the green a little more yeah. with that one versus, it's, it's you know. It's similar to the, those pitches you hit. It's just, it just drives it a yeah. bit more. Okay. That's going to threaten. Ooh. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I heard I like the Pro V1Xs. I hear that thud on the green a little bit it versus just yeah versus the Pro V1s. You feel like just it, a touch more of a click at impact, a touch more of a drive. Yeah. I feel like maybe a couple extra balls of rollout, maybe. But uh, yeah, I mean they're both great, great yeah, golf I mean, balls. You're, they're dangerous with some of those shots. So. <laughs> All right, so Michael testing complete mini test, uh, you know, an, an alternate test of the Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Uh, when we get a chance to get back with the TrackMan, maybe we'll do some actual numbers testing. But, um, you know, again, I mean, not that we expected bad results from the number one golf ball on the planet. No. But, um, Pro V1, Pro V1X, um, let's kind of go through the, the who's at four portion, right? Um, and I think there's that, that kind of difference between the two in some respects has been a little clouded over the years. So let's kind of talk about the Pro V1 first. We talked a little bit about the characteristics, but maybe if you're, you know, if someone's playing a Pro V1, what are they looking for from the golf I ball? think they're looking for a touch more responsiveness and, and softness, especially around the greens. Um, I think they're looking to kind of feel that kind of a bit lower window with the kind of fuller swings. And then, you know, on the flip side, the Pro V1X, as you'd expect, is just the complete opposite. They mm -hmm. want maybe a touch more distance. They want that ball getting launched up in the air. And maybe on their short game shots, they like kind of those, those lower spinning. You know, I think you like to hit those kind of drivey yeah. lower shots. I like to hit maybe a bit higher, higher spinning. And I think we, you kind of saw that in the testing today. The Pro V1X had that just that little bit extra bounce, a little bit extra drive. And mm -hmm. the Pro V1 was just, 
just a touch softer. Yeah, could also be partially due to, to just the difference in the core, right? There's a dual core with the Pro V1X and kind of a single component to the core with the Pro V1. So yeah. um, three piece versus four piece construction. But, and then one thing to note too, of course, is, um, you know, they're, obviously these are the, on the expensive side of golf balls, a premium golf ball. So not necessarily the budget friendly option, but as, I mean, if you look on any tour or you go to some, any relatively competitive amateur tournament, maybe even like your club championship, I would imagine Pro V1 and, or Pro V1X is going to be the highest yeah. played ball. That's a great point, because we talk about who's at four, kind of differentiating the one versus the X, but there's also a category of golfer that maybe you should you know, look at the other kind of offering of models mm -hmm. that Titleist has. There's, right. there's a wide variety of golf balls that they make that are, are great for just about every golfer. And uh, maybe the one or the X is, uh, maybe it's for you, maybe it's not. Yeah, well, I think today we saw, I mean, the short game stuff, it works, right? It works around the greens, it's gonna give you what it says it's gonna give you. The Pro yep. V1, a little bit softer, potentially on the full shots, more penetrating, lower ball flight, and the X will be a little bit higher on those full swings. But then to get around the green, slightly different in feel, but they're both fantastic. So uh, make sure when you go get a club fitting a second swing, our fitters will also talk to you about a ball fitting as well. And if you're not playing the same ball every time, you probably lose some shots on the course, so make sure you pick the same ball every time. And if that's a Pro V1 or Pro V1X, our team can help you out. So, Michael, thanks for doing the testing today. It's really you good got stuff. It.